All right, so we're gonna try something uh, a little bit different here. I stole this idea from Jay Johnson, so uh, all credit goes to him. Uh, one of the most asked questions I get is about running form. What's good running form? How do we improve it? And the problem with that question is it's really hard to answer in writing. You can write about it all day long, but chances are the person's not going to get it. So, figured a good solution to that problem is to show you what good running form is and show you how I go about improving it with uh, myself and kids I work with. So, I came up with this awesome idea to show you some video of. El Garouge or Gab or one of the greats running in slow motion but all that video is at home in Texas so then I thought of an idea well I'll just show a video of myself working on form I don't have the best form but you know you could see improvements and see me working with the person I think is the greatest running mechanics coach in the world and kind of see how we went about doing it but that's back home in Texas too so instead you're left with the only video I have on uh, this computer and this camera which is me working with a high school kid but uh, this kid's good though he was uh, top 10 in the state in cross country and so far has run 418 for 1600 and 927 for 3200 and about 25 mile an hour wins and he's a junior so any college coaches uh, watching recruit this kid he's good but anyway I'm gonna take you uh, through a couple strides we did working on form and we basically the format was it would do a hundred meter acceleration stride and I'd look at the video real quick and then tell him to change something and then he'd do another stride and we'd go about that a couple times until I got it looking like I wanted him to run. So I'm going to take you through that um, frame by frame and show you, point out some of the good things he does, some of the, uh, the bad things we're trying to correct and uh, take it from there and hopefully uh, Hopefully you guys like this and uh, it works out. Uh, this video was shot in December. It was right when we started getting into some heavy uh, running mechanics work. So this kid's in the process of changing his form. So it's he runs really good, but it's it's not great. And I'll uh, I'll point out some flaws and uh, some of the things he does good. And I I think it's important for when you're working on mechanics to have a model to follow. So here's our model. This is pretty much my running mechanics bible. That is El Garouge running the 5K. And it's a frame by frame shot. And that's basically what we go off of. We try and get kids to run like that. Or as close as they can within their own limitations and their own individual biomechanical differences. So, enjoy! Alright, here we go. Here's stride number one. First off, let's, uh, let's look at his forward lean there. See how he's leaning forward from the waist. He's bending slightly at the waist and that's causing that trail leg to be really far behind him. See, he's about to make foot contact right here, and his trail leg is so far behind him that he's going to have to really rush it through and bring it through to um, keep his stride going. If we ex advance one stride here, let's look at, see how far back that trail leg is at when he's on uh, support here on the other leg. So that's caused by that forward leaning there so it's one thing we're going to look at and try and fix 
um, but you notice his foot strike is pretty much underneath him the entire time. Um, the only problem he has on here is that excessive back kick. And that is caused mostly by that lean there. And we're going to try and fix that in the next couple strides. So if we go here, watch him slow down, see how he's more erect, he's more upright. And that is going to cause him not to have such excessive back kicks. See if you look here, when his foot is fully he's on support mode on that foot, look at the knee of the trail leg right behind it and there's not much difference. It's coming through pretty quickly. And if we look before, we can see there's a big gap between his two knees because of that excessive back kick caused by his forward lean. So, in essence, by keeping him upright, we help correct that. See, he's much more upright, and that's going to cause that leg to cycle through much better and not get such an excessive back kick wasting energy. And you can see from this video right here, his arm swing is pretty good. Everything's pretty good. Go stride number three, and you see here we're going to look at his foot contact. And that right there is his initial foot contact. When he's making contact with the ground, it's right underneath his knee. It's midfoot, whole foot, and it's, it's pretty much perfect right there. There's not much else to say about that. And that's how it is on both strides. He's not. He's not clawing at the ground, if you notice. It's just coming through, cycling through, and the foot comes down. And lastly, let's look at his push-off here. See, there he goes. That's how you want to look. He's got good hip extension. Um, good lead knee drive. It's coming up automatically without him having to think about it. The only thing that's a minor problem with him in the past is towing off. We do not want tow off. Uh, that's just going to cause him to get flat. Look how he has he has a uh, good proportion of vertical and horizontal. We don't want him to be too horizontal. Don't want him to be too horizontal. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that and hope you got something out of it. Um, I guess the take home message on that one is that when he ran more upright, erect, he was able to cycle through better on his um, trail leg. He wasn't getting as much excessive back kick because of that forward lean. Um, other than that, uh, is a great example of foot strike. His foot strike comes down almost perfectly almost every time and um, his push off is good for the most part in that video he uh, gets good hip extension as I said and the only problem we've had with him is um, sometimes towing off but other than that it looked pretty good so uh, that's how I go about changing form, not using drills or anything like that, just strides with trying to um, correct things each time. You give an athlete a cue, like you know, tell them something to focus on, I believe. During that, in between those strides, we uh, focused on different things with staying upright, staying erect, holding the body up, you know. From, uh, from the ground and uh, just try different cues each time and saw if you changed it based on the cue and if you didn't we tried a different one so that's how I uh, go about it and it seems to work okay um, any comments suggestions anything leave it I'll respond uh, tell me if you like this didn't like it Oh, uh, 
and if you did, I'll try and dig through some other video I have of uh, high school kids and uh, myself running, maybe some workouts, and uh, I'll see what I can put together. Um, that's about it. Oh, one other thing. I wanted to make this point of emphasis uh, a little bit more. If you go back and watch the video and you watch his foot strike in slow motion, there's no pawing or clawing at the ground. He comes through and he pretty much puts his foot down. There's no reach out and pull back. It's come through, put it down. As soon as the knee comes up, you put the foot down. It's simple, but it's how it works. Um, that's it. All right. Thanks.